Okay, today I'm, I will talk about the, the skyrocket price of Chinese family wealth waste out there. People sell for millions and millions of dollars. And this one is similar to one of them for sell for 83 million US dollars, similar to the one sold at South uh, two years ago. And this one is just amazing, it's amazing waste. How could a vase sell for 83 million US dollars? And I have one of them is a very similar, almost like a twin right here. So that's something I you know, that's something that I want to talk about today. Is all these leading auction houses from Sotheby or Christie, they sell these amazing high prices. And people say, Well, how could it be of a vase sell for 83 million US dollars? And, and is it just speculation or whatever? I think it's the waste with such a beautiful high qualification, I think it's worth every single penny of it. Because it's only a limited of in Chinese ceramic making, in very similar time, I mean small period frame time that can make these kind of vases. And there's only a few, not too many out there in the world. That's why those collectors pay top dollar for this kind of waste. So what we do is, I'm not a billionaire. Only a billionaire can can pretty much afford, or, or, or hundreds of millions. Somebody who will, can have this kind of cash ready to buy such a vase in cash, and I find that's amazing. More ninety nine point nine nine percent of people can afford a vase like this. So, but other people have it. I want to have it too. I mean, all these major auction houses they do spend lots of money to do research, they hire the best expert to find a ways like this. And now what we do, we follow the leaders. All the information, a lot of them is online for free. So what you do is you, you get all those online and you look for those, identify, and, and, and buy something is very close to that ways, or maybe like a twin brother. Okay, now, so let me talk about this particular vase, okay? It's a yellow ground family rose, particularly the double wall vase. Yang Chai, very rare from Qinglong period. Not too many of this exist in the world. Now, so it's like, okay, somebody said, okay, it's beautiful, but how do you know it's not a modern copy? Well, from what we know, it has to, the vase has to show aging. It has to be some kind of age mark to it. So what we do is we look at the, the base of the worm and we feel the texture. At that time, the texture is, has to be very fine. This one is one of the very basic techniques. The, the, the worm has to be very fine. And you look at the mark. The mark is gorgeous. And look at the green paint, very light green paint over there. And, and look at the celadine and look at the fish and look at the yellow background. The yellow background represents royalty. And also, you look at inside the waist and you can see that the, the glaze is, is very different from today's modern copy. And also the gilt and also the paint, the glaze, the celadine, the gilt. All those you can see is not from today's modern copy. And if you use a magnifying lens and you look at it, you know they're aging to it. Now, an art of work, something like this, has to be extremely beautiful. That is a must. If something is not extremely beautiful, it's not an art of work. And also, what you do is you have to handle them. It means you have to feel the weight and you have to look compare the, the glaze, the green, and I compare the yellow, and compare the yang chai, and the family rose, and how all these are decorated. And that's how you can tell somebody, something is, the, all this experience, it counts as the best, the, the best ways. You go to those auction houses, top auction houses, and you go there, you feel it. By the time you feel you know, okay, certain glaze, it has to be certain type, certain kind of mark, this kind of dark blue glaze over there, you, you know it's from Qing Dynasty. So with all this cumulative knowledge and all this kind of celadine and all this fish and all of those, and in there, 
is a 18th century uh, blue and white vase, flower vase, floral design. It's gorgeous. But look at it, you know, it was 18th century blue and white with all of this added together. That's why this piece, I, I believe, is 99% is identical to the one sold so at Southerby. And I think we have a winner here. Okay, so sometimes we can just small invest. We do enough of homework compared to the major auction houses, and we take our chair, um, just slowly look for whatever we have, and we can still find it in some a little bit small auction houses, and we can we can get a small fraction of what we pay compared to eighty three million US dollar. I think we're doing good. Next time we're gonna talk about chicken cups, which is also another pinnacle, just like this one the pinnacle of Chinese ceramics. See you next time.